Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and today we're starting a new video of what we eat in a week. We've done these for several months now and uh, what I do is I just film what our family, we're a family of nine, we have seven children ages 18 down to three and I just go through for a whole week and film what we eat for breakfast, lunches, suppers, and uh, <laughs> Sometimes it's food that comes from our homestead and sometimes it's just quick fast meals that we can throw together and fill bellies. So this morning, um, here, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what we're doing this morning. All right, breakfast this morning is a little different. We are unexpectedly heading out quickly this morning and we didn't plan on it. So it's just a quick this is sausage scramble we take ground turkey mix it with a homemade sausage seasoning i can put a link in the description box for that because i've done a whole video where that is included and after that uh, sausage is cooked up we add some eggs to it and uh, it's just a scrambled eggs with cooked sausage in it is all it is and then the bread um, this is homemade bread, and I've got a video on that too, guys, where I grind up whole grain spelt and wheat and make our loaves of bread. Some want them toasted. Some do not want them toasted. So we're doing that. Um, we've got coffee in the percolator. This is a bone broth that is going to be on the stove for two days there. So... Sarah's making up some more plates there. We do have some jelly out. This is some apple jelly that Sarah has canned up. So some are gonna put that on their toast. The butter, are we using store butter? Yeah, but uh. I pulled out some, some of these used to thaw. We had used up what we had in the fridge. Oh, okay, so we've got store butter in here, just butter we bought from the store, and that's going on toast this morning, but uh, this is from our Jersey Cow Daisy. So that'll be the next one in the lineup to refill the butter bell there. But we are kind of eating as we go here real quick. I still have some children finishing up animal chores outside, and they will eat. <laughs> whenever they come back in so we're gonna do this quick and hopefully we're back home at lunchtime you would think you would think okay we'll see hopefully I see you guys back at lunchtime all right we made it back for lunchtime okay lunchtime this is leftovers today hey guys um, we had some leftover hot dogs from a church gathering that we had here just a few days ago so that, a little bit of buns and ketchup, uh, some leftover chips that have been opened up and not finished off. So that's what's making up lunch. They do have oranges that they can eat if they still want some of that. This is my lunch here because we had leftover salad from Kroger on Markdown uh, mixed with some canned chicken. So let me see some plates over here some pick no buns some definitely want the hot dog buns and then we have some cookies for dessert <laughs> and since we had to head out of here so fast this morning we didn't get to do our morning time reading so we're gonna go ahead and do some Bible reading and some Mad Libs and we're reading about George Washington Carver now too so we'll do that while we do lunchtime Sounds good? Okay. See you guys back at supper time. Bye. Bye. And we're back for supper time. Big old stock pot of gumbo tonight. So this is our recipe. Oh, it's going to fog up the camera here. Let me see if I can pull some out. So in here, um, okay, as far as what's from our farm here, the chicken is from chickens that we raised out and um, so is the kale and our okra and what else is in there that was ours sarah do Gar you garlic oh, chicken our garlic and, oh, and okra yeah our garlic is in there too so not all from our garden like the tomatoes we do have canned tomatoes but we didn't use well it's tomato sauce not yeah what ours is canned is tomato sauce yeah and these were diced tomatoes and we don't have any of our own 
um, diced up for that. So we're gonna get this in bowls and we'll sit down and eat. It's just, it's a foggy, gloomy day or evening at this point. It was actually sunshiny today for a while, mm -hmm. but foggy, gloomy now, and uh, it'll be a nice night for chicken gumbo, don't you think? You getting the table set? Anna's the supper time helper, so she sets the table and she cleans up the table and sweeps for us after supper time. So, all right guys, we will see you all back at breakfast. All right guys, next day, next morning, it is breakfast time. And today, we stay home all day today. We ran around so much yesterday and it is exhausting, but today is at home day. So we're all kind of excited about that. But I'll flip the camera around and show you all what is uh, in bowls for breakfast. All right, breakfast is cream of barley. Um, I don't think cream of barley is too commonly known. Um, a lot of people have heard of malto meal or cream of wheat, and this is similar. Um, whereas those are made with wheat, this is made with barley, and that's really the only difference, I guess, is the grain that it comes from. Let me see, I want to get the package down. Sarah, can you grab the package down for me? And I'll show everybody what it looks like. I do get it from Azure Standard, and um, this is what it looks like. And we enjoy it. It's a quick, you know, a quick filling breakfast. And children like to doctor it up with some butter that'll melt down in that hot cereal, and then some maple syrup and cinnamon. And they just mix it all up together. Let me see. I think Andrew and David are still outside. David's already stirred his up. He likes his cinnamony. But I don't like mine too cinnamon. You don't? But I like it There's like that. So that's what the boys' bowls look like there. Rebecca's... I like, I like mine. You, you, you're already eating on yours, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, we'll get going on breakfast. And then today, since we'll be home, we'll do a bunch of school. There they are. Back inside, ready to eat. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you back at lunchtime. All right, guys, we are prepping some lunch here. So lunch is grilled cheese sandwiches. We're using, this is bread that I make. I have a whole video on it. And um, we're using this bread, buttering one side of it. And this right here, this is some of Sarah's sourdough. She prefers to have that instead of this. And then we come over here and add some more butter, <laughs> and basil, garlic powder, and sea salt to season the bread. And then we're putting some Colby Jack cheese on there too. Some people like tomato slices, so we will get some tomatoes out for that. We've got, this is a uh, biology lab experiment here that happened this morning too. So that's not food, <laughs> that's school. Um, in addition to the grilled cheese sandwiches, um, got some green beans going in the pot here so that'll go as well and I've got the oven going because it takes several batches for me to get these done and I'll put them in the pan and keep them warm in just the oven at a low temp until everything is finished up so I'll come back whenever we've actually got food on plates all right we've got things ready um, this is what we've got as far as grilled cheese and then the green beans went ahead and made up one plate. Um, you can see some of them have the tomato and the red onion on there, but most of them do not. But they'll do this. And then if we do need more, I've got some bread left over. And uh, we can always make up a few more if we need to. So we'll start getting everybody else's plates together and get them sitting down to eat. What do you think? You haven't taken a bite yet, Sarah. <laughs> Yours does not count. Okay, Abigail's chewing. She says thumbs up. Good stuff? Okay. I agree. Have you taken Still, a bite yet? Of the green beans. Of the, the green beans are great. <laughs> Sam says green beans are great. Andrew? Yep. Okay. All right, we'll be back at supper time then, I guess, guys. We're going to do more readings for school. Peter Cottontail and a science lesson while we uh, have our mouths Peter full of food. Rabbit. Peter, Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, yes. Do you like him? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it's funny stories. Uh-huh. Okay, see you guys at supper time. All right, supper time. Okay, so tonight, um, these are just some boneless, skinless chicken breasts um, that I cut up into, oh, maybe strips? I don't really, hunks? I don't know what to call them, Sarah. <laughs> Edible portions? Edible portions. So they would cook up faster because these boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I'd gotten were huge. They were humongous. But covered them with the pesto that we made from basil that we grew in our garden over the summertime. And so we're calling this pesto chicken <laughs> because we typically do pesto salmon. I am out of the salmon, um, but I had these in the freezer. So pesto chicken. And Sarah's starting to make up Rebecca's plate for her there. Um, these are beets. These are golden beets and red beets that I get from Azure Standard. Uh, cooked them up, diced them. I think it makes a really pretty side dish. Uh, drizzled some extra virgin olive oil over there, some salt, and tossed it all together. So that's all that is. Um, this is a quinoa dish. Um, kind of like rice, but it's not. This is quinoa with carrots in there. There's some tomatoes. Um, our dehydrated kale is in here. I usually use spinach, frozen spinach, but this is dehydrated kale from our garden. Um, onion, there's garlic from our garden in there as well. So this will be supper tonight. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep getting plates made up. And we've got our uh, YouTube live stream. So we're trying to hurry up and eat something so we can get everything uh, set up and ready to go by the time we sit down with you guys to chit chat tonight. You like your milk, baby? Good mm -hmm. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. Have you eaten your chicken yet? No. Not yet? Mm -hmm. Just working on the milk. All right. Oh, and I got winter stuff to put away still. I got to pull the storage tubs out for that. But okay, pretty, pretty plates. Time to eat, and we'll see you guys in the morning. You say bye bye. She says bye. 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 See you in the morning. <laughs> All right, breakfast this morning is smoothies. So. Sarah's making up some different concoctions. She's asking people which ones they want. It's made out of the yogurt that uh, just made recently and some frozen cherries. These would be cherries that uh, we got on sale back earlier this year. Got a good price on them, so put some in the freezer. Of course, she's got the frozen bananas in there, and I got these for... Some were 39 cents a pound and some were 19 cents a pound. I think these were the 19 cents. Okay, these were the 19 cents a pound bananas. Um, some homemade vanilla extract in there. Some peanut butter. Okay, and she's putting them in. We're starting on the next batch. Yes. Um, so what flavor combinations are you letting people choose from this morning? Um, well, I had blueberry banana, but nobody wanted that this morning, <laughs> this morning, so I went ahead and put the blueberries away. Okay. And then I have blueberry cherry, and then, uh, sorry, and then I have banana cherry. Okay. And, um, banana peanut butter. Okay. So far, Andrew's the only one that wants banana peanut butter. I have one wanting cherry. He's big on peanut butter, though, isn't he? He's yeah. a big peanut butter guy, so he does the peanut butter banana, and everybody else is doing the new cherry banana so that's good and we're putting them here this the cups here let me here I'll take it over here and show everybody these are the cups that we like to use for our smoothies um, a viewer sent us these months and months ago and they are in our Amazon storefront <laughs> so <laughs> Rebecca's back there she just had some of hers but we like these cups and I'll try to put the link down in the description box are the cats good? Yeah. yeah, she just came in from feeding the cats this morning. The uh, cups change colors whenever you fill them up with something cold, so makes it fun to have those. And as children finish up their animal jobs, we'll, um, they'll come in and have their smoothies. Uh-oh, did you drop it? Yes. yes, but it was empty, it's okay. <laughs> so, okay guys. We will see. Oh, you got a pink nose. <laughs> we'll 
see you guys at lunchtime. All right, it's lunchtime, and today's lunch is a homemade hamburger helper. They're getting bowls filled up. This is a regular uh, lunch for us here. Is it oh, there it goes. I don't think it was focusing. I'm sorry if that looked blurry, guys. On my end, it looked blurry. So um, this is just elbow macaroni that uh, we boil up, some beef, and then here, let me show you. Oh, Andrew already put it away. It's this canister, <laughs> we emptied one today, of uh, powdered cheese that we add in there with some butter and some milk. And we get this off Amazon, <laughs> but it's full of powdered cheese. And um, that's what's added in to do the cheese flavoring and stuff. We do have this, it's in our Amazon storefront. It's a product we've used for a long time. We really like it. And uh, I'll put the link so you can see the actual product if you're interested in getting something like that to make homemade hamburger helper. I've heard of other people using it like as a sprinkle topping for popcorn and things like that. So, is it good stuff, baby? You like it, don't you? I did our daddy You sit in daddy's seat? Yeah, daddy's at work. Yeah, and daddy's gone. Yeah, he's gone at work. So, um, Sarah and I are having, this is the last of the bagged salads that I had gotten on Markdown at Kroger. And so this is what we're going to have. And uh, I think, let me see, I don't know if she put any chicken in there or not. Usually we add canned chicken in there, but I don't see. Maybe, okay, maybe there are little pieces. I don't know. I'll have to ask her and see. You helped? You, you did? You helped Sarah? Mm -hmm. We oh. got it. Sam is in there oh, reading. Oh, well, look what? at this. What's that sticker on your camera? The sticker? What's the sticker look like? Book. Books. It has books on it. It so, has green, yellow, red, and blue. Green, yellow, red, and blue books on the sticker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, since we have two different cameras, we put one with a sticker with books on it and the other with a sticker that has cats on it. And when Sean asks, which camera do you want me to use? It's so much easier to say, use books or use cats. Mm -hmm. So that way he knows. So Sam, are you ready to eat too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can come on in and get your bowl and pray and then eat. So, okay, we're going to do lunch. I have to film. This is a Goodwill haul video. I need to go ahead and film that today for you guys. And then I'm going into town to do the grocery shopping, the weekly sales for the week. You're wanting to go with me? They're going to start begging to go with me. So, okay, guys, I'll see you back at supper time. How are you doing prayer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're sweet, baby. You pray for baby Magnus. And baby Caleb. And Miss Roxanne. And Landon's eye. And Landon's eye. And Landon's eye. Yes. And what else are you going to pray for? Um. Did you tell me yet? Did you not ever have it? Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Supper time almost. So plans changed. Do you see Sean back there? He's making supper. So um, the plan was I was going to go into town and do the grocery shopping. And while I was gone, Sarah was going to make egg roll in a bowl. It's like an egg roll, only without the wrapping on the outside. It's just the inside, the yummy inside of, egg, of an egg roll in a big old skillet and some rice. However, this afternoon, Sarah had an incident with her braces and we had to make an unexpected trip into town to the orthodontist. I was going grocery shopping anyway, so Sarah came with me to the orthodontist, which means she was not here to make supper. So there is no egg roll in a bowl tonight. Here, I got some Kroger bags and stuff here on the table. I still have to film this video, um, but Sean offered to make spaghetti. So it is just about finished, and uh, I'll show you his creation here in just a little bit. All right, Sean's got everything done in here. We're gonna start putting it in bowls. Um, he ended up doing 
two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of spaghetti noodles, and then four cans of this. If Sarah and I are making uh, pasta sauce, we'll just use tomato sauce and add the herbs and things to it, but I do keep the ready-made stuff on hand for times like this that he can just open up the cans, throw it in the pot, and it's quick and easy, and we can eat quickly. So, got the Parmesan cheese there. This is not food. <laughs> this is from uh, more biology experiments that the kids are doing. So, yeah, not food stuff back here. But we're going to go ahead and get everybody fed and start shutting it down for the night. Things are a little bit later since I went into town. So, we will see you guys, I guess, in the morning. All right, it is the next morning, and we got up and going late today, so we're doing a quick breakfast. We've got to make a vanilla extract today. We've got to film a video from the uh, grocery shopping that I did last night. We still need to get your hair fixed. Yes. <laughs> so, still getting morning jobs done, but quick this morning is just going to be granola for breakfast. This is the homemade granola. Um, this one has dried cranberries in it, but we've done dried raisins in it as well. It's cheaper to make with the dried raisins than cranberries, but we like the taste of the <laughs> cranberries better. So uh, I will put a link, but there's a whole video, right, Sarah? You did a video on yeah. granola, right? And uh, we'll put a link in there for Sarah's granola that she makes up. That way you guys can make it too if you want to. It's actually, it's pretty easy. And it's really good. So that's for breakfast. Um, I do still need to skim the cream off of this milk right here. It's right here. And I can use that for my coffee. So <laughs> I'll skim that off and get mama some coffee and get children some granola. We'll see you guys at lunchtime today. All right, we are pausing some school time there at the table to go ahead and load up on lunch. Today is clean out mama's fridge day so it is all the leftovers um anna's going after a hot dog there so we have some leftover sausage patties and hot dogs and green beans and this is that chicken pesto creation from the other night uh this is a mexican dish called is it monterey chicken with potatoes that is that right. okay it's a mexican dish with uh, roasted potatoes, chicken, salsa, cheese on top, a little bit of guacamole that needs to be eaten up, a little bit of sausage scramble that needs to be eaten up, and then over here some beets. This is some of the chicken gumbo and the quinoa dish from the other night too. So it's a smorgasbord, it's a buffet, it's a hodgepodge, it's we're running out of uh leftover containers in the cabinet so <laughs> things have to be eaten up so we're going to go ahead and eat this and uh, get back to some schoolwork. i'm probably going to eat while we uh do read alouds just kind of multitask here a little bit and then we will be back for lunch time or for supper time <laughs> so okay see you guys in a little bit all right, finishing up stuff here for supper tonight. So I told you last night was supposed to be egg roll in a bowl. That didn't happen. So that is tonight's supper. So there is some rice here in the Instant Pot. And we'll put that in a bowl. And then on top of that goes, this is egg roll in a bowl. And basically it's the inside of an egg roll um, without the little crust <laughs> on the outside of it. So we used ground venison, and this is from deer that, uh, probably one that Sean got here on our property. Uh, cabbage, onion, garlic. There's a toasted sesame oil in there. Uh, this is from a Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. So on top of all this, then let me go back. We like to put coconut aminos on top of it. And, oh, there's the cookbook here. I'm not going to show you the recipe exactly, but it's from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. Um, I do have this in our Amazon storefront. I don't know if you can tell. It's just falling apart here. We have used it. I even have it duct taped together, guys. So this is uh, full of lots of good recipes that we enjoy. And everybody's waiting on me. <laughs> everybody's waiting on me to come eat. So they've got their bowls made up. 
and we'll go ahead we'll do prayer and eat some baths have been done and yeah. you got your baths and I, showers I done. yeah I done. you got all done okay guys we'll pray and eat and I will see everybody on the video in the morning time it's breakfast time but Rebecca says mama come see me what are you watching it's the Stanley family, isn't it? <laughs> what are they doing? They slide. They slide. On their belly. On their belly. <laughs> oh, look at the Legos. <laughs> hey, baby. Are you going to come eat some oats? Hello? You gonna come eat some oats? What? <laughs> that what? would be a no. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Look, they have little baby shopping carts for children. Does that look like fun? Mm -hmm. I wish mm -hmm. I was over there. You wish you were there too. Looks so much fun. <laughs> Guys, if you have not checked out the Stanley Family's channel, please do that. They're in real life friends of ours. Sweet, sweet family. Those are our friends. Those are our friends? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I gotta get you. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys gonna eat? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not gonna sit here and watch the computer? <laughs> Time to eat. All right. Oats this morning for breakfast. Some have it already on the table. And my battery's about to die, so I want to talk fast. Andrew and David are still outside doing morning chores. So I'll just show you here um, the pot. <laughs> That's what's left in the pot. This is oats soaked overnight with raisins added in the morning. They doctor it up with butter, cinnamon, maple syrup. And before my battery dies, I'll see you all back at lunchtime. This is Samuel, and there's been a slight change of plans. We are actually going to be eating lunch with friends today, so Anna is just making up sandwiches here. And it's just the basic meat, cheese, and basically your typical uh, sandwich stuff. Uh, so, uh, oh, Anna, are, is it easy for you to make sandwiches? Yes. Uh, that's good. Sorry if I sound a little awkward. I've <laughs> I'm not really used to uh, filming these videos. That's more of a mama, daddy, and occasionally Sarah thing. But uh, that's what we're having for lunch today, and we will see you all at supper time. All right, they got the uh, lunch stuff. Anna, you made the sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Sam said he videoed something. But um, this is why I keep the store-bought bread just accessible in the deep freeze and lunch meat right there so that last minute we could throw some sandwiches together real quick because um, this was not on our to-do list this week. The weather is just so, so gorgeous. I think it's at 69 degrees here in early February, which is crazy. What? She's saying something. So we're loaded up. Coolers in the back. Waters are in there. And uh, we're going to head to the park and play with some friends this afternoon. But we have to do something for supper. I haven't pulled any meat out. We may have leftovers for supper tonight. <laughs> we will see what we end up with. I don't know how long we're going to stay at the park. So I'm over here. I'm talking to Sarah. That's who I'm talking to over here on the side. But okay, we will see you guys back and we will eat something for supper time. So <laughs> all right, we had a big fun long day with friends so it is leftovers tonight for supper this is about all we can manage especially since i didn't pull meat out before we left so there's some there's a little bit of oats this is some of that uh pesto chicken okay. yeah my brain is slow tonight sarah it's been a long day uh quinoa beets let's see more of the chicken the gumbo needs to be finished up spaghetti and we'll see if anybody's still hungry after that you've already got breakfast made up for tomorrow yep. morning but we're not going to tell them what it is just yet good thing Rebecca's not in here good thing because she would have spilled the beans <laughs> she fell asleep we came home from friends and she fell asleep on the couch in there so 
We'll see if she wakes up for supper or not. So otherwise, we will see you guys in the morning. All right, breakfast time. Sarah made us muffins yesterday. She went with cranberry muffins because, okay, so the deal was that you canned cranberry juice. Yes specifically for daddy since he has kidney things that cranberry juice yeah. helps with and he's drank well he's he's, he's on his second jar so there's leftover cranberries inside the jar after he drinks yes. the juice and so I took the cranberries out of the juice he was on um, he's oh. working on and out of the jar he had already finished and um, I put them in these cranberries along with some fresh ones to make it the right amount. Because we were concerned that the ones in the jars had lost some of their taste and potency yeah. by being juiced. So some fresh ones kind of offset it. So they have been tried this morning. Yes. You need some attention? <laughs> She's putting on a show. <laughs> and uh, the taste is yummy. So it all worked out. And Sarah's having her homemade granola this morning instead the ones with the cranberries and stuff in it and i got children playing monopoly this morning so are you going to pause the game to eat something yeah yeah okay i think andrew's outside finishing up farm chores and sam is in his room so okay we'll see everybody back at lunchtime i guess Bye. Bye. all right anna did you make up lunch for us today yes Yes, she did. So, um, on a recent um, weekly sale ad grocery haul, um, I showed you guys how at Kroger, uh, mine will often have these salad kits on markdown. And just recently, I was able to get three bags of this variety here. Um, for instance, at Walmart, these are right around $4 per bag. So, we got about, you know, half off. And those three bags, that's what they look like here. And we added some of this uh, canned chicken breast that we had gotten from Sam's Club. It's not even all used up, so we'll be able to get some more out of it. Um, I got two other varieties of the salad mixes on Markdown. So here in the next couple days, we will use up some more of this chicken and add it to some more salad. So we'll have this for lunch. And if we wipe this out, we've got oranges and stuff that we can always snack on too. There's even bread left over from the sandwiches you made yesterday for our park day. And they can slather peanut butter or something on that too if they're still hungry. So we are taking it easy today. Today's just kind of a rest day where children are playing board games. They still got Monopoly laying out over there. Sarah worked on her dress that she recently got at Goodwill. She added a ruffle to the bottom of it. So she's been working on her sewing machine. And uh, children have been watching some DVDs. You watched The Music Man again, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> so we're just kind of relaxing and resting today. And so the food's gonna be easier, simpler, quicker. But uh, I'll touch base with you guys and just let you know what we end up eating. All right, guys, it is supper time. And tonight we are having salmon patties. I had two skillets going with the salmon patties. And then this skillet here <laughs> got finished before that one. So I went ahead and just put this one on warm. And as these became, you know, done enough, I would transfer them over to this one just to stay warm. And this was the last one to go ahead and get finished up. But I used four cans of salmon. And the ones I used today were still from Aldi. But recently I've been getting the best price at uh, Sam's Club for our canned salmon and then peas this is just frozen peas from the store uh, the corn back here let's see is that lighting better this is sweet corn from our garden that we raised this past summer and then to that we'll add on some butter and salt um, we're using two different opened packages tonight so store butter and butter from Daisy or cow so we'll start making up plates and I guess I'll show you what a finished plate looks like and we'll call everybody in here to eat. Guys, it's time to eat! And they're coming. <laughs> there we go. Here they come. Are you
you hungry? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's what the plates are looking like. Yeah, what, one and a half or so? David's got a pretty plate. So... I'm a bear wolf. What? I'm a bear wolf. Do not spill. I'm a bear wolf. Mm, go ahead and wear it. It's in case, well, let's get her... Um, Anna's our supper time helper. Uh, let's get her a spoon. I think it'll be easier for her to eat her peas and her corn with a spoon instead. All right, and we'll send will Sam. Dad will we'll get Sam in here. Dad will all right. Book. You've been dad hiding out in the book. shop all day. No. Nope. Inside, inside the boys' room. Book. Inside the boys' room, you were out in the shop earlier too. A little bit. Yeah. But I was playing guitar. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we are gonna get. Is Sam coming? He's on his way. He's on his way. Well, we're gonna go ahead and sit down, pray, and then eat. All right, guys, this is it, the end of the video. I am making bread this morning. There's my little uh, loaf keeper that Miss Vicky sent. So thank you, Vicky. we're enjoying that. So making bread this morning, and we're gonna finish up the video with our breakfast for the day. Um, we made up some turkey bacon and fried eggs. Sam made these up for us this morning. He's the breakfast helper. And toast. It's from our homemade bread, and I'll put the link in the description box for that. Rebecca? What are you doing? Get bashful over there? Are you shy? No, oh, she's shy this day. morning, bashful guys. <laughs> You're being goofy. Are you a shy baby? No. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. No. You were just an emotional roller coaster this morning. That's going to be fun, huh? All right. We're going to go ahead and pray and then eat. And uh, your seat's wet. And we're going to check Rebecca's seat. <laughs> All right, guys. That is the end of this month's What We Eat in a Week. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It sure does help, and make sure you are subscribed. Double check that you are subscribed, and then if you could tell others to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow, and maybe even help us hit our family's goal of 24,000 subscribers before our one-year anniversary on March 11th. So we are looking forward to that just to see where do we land after one year. So we will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.